the official opening of the Future Classroom Lab. After 18 months, we're now in a capacity with our, the support of the Ministry of Education and the support of industrial partner to, to open today the Future Classroom Lab. It is all about the teaching, it's all about the students, not about the technology. So as we move forward, we see ourselves as being involved very much in the discussion, the debate about instruction, instructional design uh, and uh, its role in the advancing and new emerging technologies that we're seeing impacting on education. I think bringing all of these te technologies from multiple vendors into one place allows us really show the value um, when they're all integrated together. Um, you know, the whiteboard is fantastic. It's got some great tools and there's fantastic software you can run it. But when you start to connect it with digital cameras or with, um, with robots and things like that, you can actually start to see what the future classroom might be like. It isn't just going to be one technology. It's going to be many technologies all working together. Our, our Planet Movie Box solution, which is it covers live video production and chroma key and emulates a TV studio environment, but all in one box and in a mobile way, so that effectively it's, it's there to address cross curricular use in any classroom rather than just in a fixed TV studio environment that would be used traditionally for media studies or something. We have teachers who are um, using these whiteboards to connect classrooms around the world and collaborating. We see teachers using simulations and 3D CAD packages on the whiteboard. Uh, we see um, simple ideas which are very, very powerful, like you could put a, project a picture of a place on the world here and the children could be there acting as if they're there, you know, instant television studio. So I think, um, you know, there's not just one practice, there's many more. primary school, Tony Pandy Primary School in Wales, who um, have specifically bought the equipment to try and engage their primary school children with their themed curriculum. So they have used it to, for an extensive number of projects, from having the children reporting from the Blitz using the chroma key technology in terms of putting a live virtual background behind the children. Um, they've reported from the White House, they've talked about uh, exploits of famous explorers and the feedback from Stuart Scammell, the head teacher there, has been that not only has it sort of enhanced their, um, in, enhanced their, if you like, engagement with the curriculum, but it's also enhanced their IT skills and it's really developed their soft skills as well. So it promotes things like... Um, communication skills, um, self-confidence, problem solving, collaboration with their peers. For example, if um, you've digitised Romeo and Juliet and you want to um, draw attention to, for example, the balcony scene within that recording, you can put a marker in, embed just the balcony scene into a learning resource um, and that's available externally. I think the, you know, the challenge is to bring the, the language of the adult and the language of the child together and find some common um, uh, common meaning, but I think that all comes down to you know good old teaching practices and teachers having clear objectives and there's a goal for the work you do. It should never be technology for technology's sake or technology because it's cool for children. Uh, it should be a tool uh, used well and I think again the Future Classroom Lab is a place where we can see technology put to the right use. ready if you help them and you can help them see what the first step is rather than just let them work it out so I think you know somewhere like this
can be a bit kind of mind-blowing when you see it all and think, how do I get here? But I think if they have an aspiration to get here, it's then go back and say, well, where are you now? And do this first. Just try one thing at a time. And if you try one thing at a time, you know, in kind of two months, you'll realise you've actually come quite a long way. So I think if you try and help break it up for them to see how they get from where they are to, to begin to do more of it, then, then it really kind of helps.